Hi, I'm Sean Yan, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about solving systems of three equations with elimination. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help to use Minute Math. We're given this problem right here, negative 6r plus 5s plus 2t equals negative 11, negative 2r plus 1s plus 4t equals negative 9, and 4r minus 5s plus 5t equals a negative 4, and we need to solve this by elimination. Let's rewrite our first equation here. Negative 6r plus 5s, plus 5s, there we go, plus 2t equals negative 11. If we take the second equation and we multiply the whole thing by 3, what do we get? Well, 3 times negative 2r is a negative 6r. 3 times s is a 3s. 3 times 4t is a 12t, and well, 3 times negative 9, negative 27. If we subtract these two equations now, remember we're subtracting the whole thing, our r is going to cancel. Negative 6r minus a negative 6r is like adding a 6r, they cancel. And so that's kind of the goal, we're trying to get rid of a variable here. 5s minus 3s is a 2s, and then 2t minus a 12t is a negative 10t, and then negative 11 minus a negative 27 is like adding a 27, that's a positive 16. All right, well, <clears throat> now I'm going to try to eliminate another variable. The second equation is going to be useful again. If we multiply the second equation by 2, what do we get? Well, we have a negative 4r here, plus a 2s, let's make sure I'm following my steps here, plus 2 times 4t is an 8t. And then don't forget, 2 times negative 9, negative 18. Bring down the second equation here, or third equation, sorry, 4r minus 5s plus 5t equals negative 4. And look, we have it set up now where our r's will cancel. We add the two equations, Negative 4r plus 4r is just 0. r cancels out. 2s plus a negative 5s is a negative 3s. And 8t uh, plus a 5t is 13t. Negative 18 plus a negative 4 is a negative 22. All right. So then from here, where do we go? Well, these two equations, right away, if I add them together, I can't eliminate anything but I can adapt them. So if we take this second, or this equation right here, what happens if we multiply it by a two? In doing so, we have a, well, negative, uh, two times negative three is a negative six s. Two times 13 is a 26 t. And then two times negative 22 is a negative 44. This equation here, what happens if we multiply it by a three? The whole thing comes down here. 3 times 2s is a 6s. 3 times negative 10 is a negative 30t. And then 3 times 16 comes out to be a 48. If we add these two equations together, what happens? Well, this s is cancel. Negative 6s plus 6s cancels. 26t plus a negative 30t is a negative 4t. And negative 44 plus 48 is a positive 4. Divide both sides by negative 4, and t equals a negative 1. So all that work, we got one value. t is negative 1. So where can we go from here now to solve, well, for our other values? If we look at this equation right here, the 2s minus 10, right, plus a uh, negative 10, but minus 10, and instead of t, I put a negative 1 in, we substitute that in, equals 16, we now just have the variable s in this equation, so we can solve for that. 2s comes down, uh, negative 10 times a negative 1 is a positive 10, equals 16, subtract 10 to both sides, 2s equals a 6, divide both sides by 2, and s equals 6 divided by 2, which is 3. So we have s equals 3, t equals negative 1. We can solve 
for r. We have to pick an equation and we're going to plug in t and s for our variables there, or the values they have. So the equation I picked was the uh, last equation here, the last one. So the last equation here, I'll put 4r minus 5, and instead of s, I'm going to put a 3, that value here, plus 5, and instead of t, I'll put a negative 1, equals uh, negative 4. Now we're going to solve for r. Okay, So we have 4r here. 5 times 3 is a negative uh, 15. And then 5 times negative 1 is a negative 5 equals negative 4. 4 r comes down. Negative 15 minus 5 is a negative 20. It goes negative 4. Add a 20 to both sides. 4 r equals 16. Positive 16. Divide both sides by 4. And r is by itself. And that's equal to 4. So we have our r, our s, and t value we can write as a coordinate point to be 4, comma, 3, comma, negative 1 in the order they give it to us. And so our final answer here is r is 4, s is 3, and t is negative 1. Hope this video was helpful for you, and if it was, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching. Minute math, minute math, when you need help you use minute math.